not advisable for foreigners to drive in the Philippines, just so you know. But I'm gonna go with my instincts on this one. So, it's not really advisable for foreign, foreigners to drive in the Philippines, but oh hell, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So which way are we going? This way. That way. So they got this guy in the way, basically. So we gotta go over here. Oh, we gotta watch out for motorcyclists. Okay, shit's about to get real here in a second. Yeah. Hey, it's just like California, pretty much. But totally not. Just do whatever. I'll fit, I just don't know if that's like acceptable. I, there's no rules to the road out here, so. Should I just go up there? Say fuck it. Basically, it's the same thing as America, pretty much. It's not. What a magical experience. driving in the Philippines, there are no cops, there's no highway patrol, there's no one that's gonna pull you over and give you a ticket. There's no such thing. So it's full on road warrior status out here, which is exactly my kind of kind of place. Challenge is, the hard part is that it's fucking road warrior status out here and uh, everybody else is doing the same thing. So definitely not advisable for foreigners to be driving out in the Philippines. But uh, sometimes you just gotta say, fuck it. Fuck it. Only thing you'll see with lights on it is the wambulance. So, that's pretty much it. Just watch out for little, little freaks jumping out in the street. Woo! One thing Chad remembers, it's how to get to Baker's Hill. <laughs> right down here. Yes. Hey, hey baby Meryl. I'm gonna miss this car. This was quite the adventure. Don't think I'll slow down. I think I'll speed up. No lights, no stop signs, you just keep driving. Just keep driving. Whew. Holy guacamole, we're here. La Sharika Sweets. Check it out.
just had a creeper creeping on us up on the balcony. What, what? You know what a creeper is? It's Christmas time on the islands. Hey, let's take a look around here. Hey, look at these dudes. That's cool. La Sharika Hotel and Resort. <laughs> no. It's just, a, it's just a cheap hotel, but it does the trick. Little tiny room, bed, stuff, air con. Here's a little trick though. This thing is what powers the whole place. You gotta keep your key inside of this thing. So what you do when you leave is you take this thing off, leave this thing in, and that way the AC keeps going, God willing, unless there's a blackout when you when you leave, which happens all the time in Puerto Princesa. Um, and you come back to a nice air-conditioned room. Always thinking. Deck in the halls already. You get free breakfast at La Sharika too, but it's a little sketchy. Go for a swim. Oh, okay. Is there a difference between the two? Because we have this whole lane to ourselves. So. Hi, we're here now at Baywalk, and that's our the restaurant that you can eat. So, lots of restaurants. Yeah, it's a seafood restaurant. Seafoods. I know somebody's favorite. <laughs> so, what is this place? A Baywalk. This is the Baywalk. Yes. And it's where people come to just walk, walk by the bay and chill. And there's tons of restaurants. Yes, all seafoods restaurants. All seafoods. Yes, it definitely smells like crabs. You can watch the boat. You can watch the sunset, but now there's no sunset. <laughs> well, when there is a sun, you can watch it set. I guess is what she's trying to tell us. And next is the port. Okay, we'll get some shots of that when we get up there. Okay. And that's the light that you can see is a pickup, actually. 
have a lot of peacock here. Peacock? Peacock. Peacock? Yes. There's lots of peacocks. So that's what that represents? Yes. Okay. That's our logo. The logo? Yes. Yeah, so the Porta Princesa logo is the peacock. And uh, I still have yet to see one. But they're fun. We do have a big one, but it's not here on the other side. But it's not working. There's no light on it. How many Filipinos does it take to change the light bulb? I guess we'll never ever find out. <laughs> oh, so crazy. Okay. But. <laughs> Selfies. <laughs> I'm too small. You should. You should. I'm I should hold for you. So we're headed to the port right now for some much needed selfies. There's a restaurant in the middle of the sea. You just have your dinner in the restaurant and after that you're gonna transfer to another boat and watch for a flight. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. Watch out for this little booger. So this boat takes you firefly watching. Yes. It takes you for dinner on a on a what? In the middle on a restaurant in the middle of the ocean? Yeah, there's a restaurant there. Okay. Next to that not boat actually. So if you want to go firefly watching on the mangroves, have dinner in the middle of the ocean on a, in a restaurant, yeah. shit, we should do that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That would be so romantic. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for taking us for a walk down the bay. Singer. I felt bad. I hope nobody sees this video.